Hi, I'm Christy with The Big Family Homestead, and today I'm going to show you how to make basic white sandwich bread. I used to think making bread was just a very difficult thing to do, but if you just follow some very simple steps in the right order, then you'll be able to make the most wonderful bread for your family ever. And I'm gonna walk you through it. It's super easy. Now for ingredients, we're going to use three to four and a half cups of white flour. Uh, it can be bread flour, it can be all purpose flour. Then we will use a quarter, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of instant act, dry active yeast, three quarter cup of warm water, three tablespoons of butter, and a half a cup of milk. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our water, our butter, and our milk, and we're going to heat them to where it's just hot enough to where you can't touch it. Now, just a helpful tip. You wanna make sure you stir this the entire time because you don't want your milk to burn. You wanna have it to where your butter is just melted. All right, just like this. All right, we'll go ahead and pour your milk, water, and butter into a steel bowl or glass bowl, it's really okay. Then we're going to take our sugar and dissolve that in that liquid. Okay, now that our sugar is dissolved and the temperature of our liquid is about 110 degrees to 120 degrees, any hotter and you might kill your yeast. Let's go ahead and proof our yeast by sprinkling this on top. and then give it a gentle stir. We're gonna let that sit for just a couple minutes and make sure that it is active yeast. Uh, when it starts to get really bubbly, then you're, you know your yeast is active. Okay, now you see how it's just starting to bloom in here? It's all getting nice and bubbly. This is active yeast. We can go ahead and start adding our flour now. Okay, now when adding your flour, the measurement of flour was three to four and a half cups. And the reason for that is because of your um, area. The humidity in your air actually determines how much flour you put into your bread. Now, if you live in an area that is very wet or very humid, you're going to actually need to add more flour. Uh, the humidity in the air will add to the liquid in your bread. If you're in a very dry, deserty area, you will need to use less flour. I'm gonna go ahead and start with just two cups of flour. Now I don't compact this in here because that makes for a heavier loaf. Now I'll also go ahead and add my salt right on top of my flour here so that I don't forget to mix that in. All right, now as you can see, this is a very wet, sticky dough. We're going to need to add more flour and I'm going to add just about a quarter of a cup at a time. We don't wanna to add too much flour because that will make for a very thick, dense loaf of bread. Okay, so, so far I have used about three and a quarter cups of flour. This is what you're looking for, it's not sticking to my finger, um, now we're going to go ahead and pour, turn it out onto a flour counter surface um, so that we can knead this. All right, let's go ahead and put a bit of flour on the counter and turn out your dough. Let's scrape this bowl so that we have all of our good bits. We don't wanna miss out on any of that stuff. Add a bit of flour to the top. We're gonna go ahead and just fold it over and press it down. While kind of um, sweeping some of the flour into the dough so that we get, so it's still dry, not sticky. All right, now this is what you're looking for. A nice smooth dough. It's not sticky to the touch anywhere. Um, and it takes about two to three, maybe four minutes to get it to this consistency. Um, and when you press your fingers down, it will punch back, it will push back up. 
Now we're going to take our ball of dough and we'll put it into a greased bowl. Uh, you can spray it with um, uh, any kind of spray oil or just grease it with butter or anything. Then we're gonna just turn it to where it's coating the dough and we're gonna cover this with a warm wet towel or plastic wrap, whatever you have access to. So I'm gonna cover this with a warm, wet tea towel or any kind of towel. Um, and we'll just put this in a warm place for about an hour till it doubles in size. All right, so we've waited our time. It has more than doubled in size. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lightly flour our counter here, just lightly. Turn this dough out and just press out all of the bubbles, not all of them, just lightly press it. And we're gonna fold this into, kind of get it into a rectangle, just like so. We don't wanna overwork the dough. And we're gonna just fold it into thirds, just like so. Spray the loaf pan. And we're gonna put this loaf inside the pan, fold side down. And this will fill up, it will continue to rise and it will fill up this pan. In about a half an hour, we'll be able to, we will be able to break, bake it. Okay, so we've waited our time, 30 minutes, and the bread has risen to the top of the pan. We're going to go ahead and bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Could take a little bit longer, uh, but just until it's golden brown. It's done. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ugh. Oh, yummy. It smells delicious. Look at that. That looks good. There you have it, folks. Easy, delicious sandwich bread. Can't wait to cut into this. There it is, guys. Super easy white sandwich bread. I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day. Mmm, can't wait. Mmm. So yummy. Light and fluffy. Mmm. Delicious.